Welcome to another episode of Unturned. Today we're going to play one of my most favorite maps on Unturned, which is Elver. It has been some time since I've played on this map, and this video is full of PvP and base raids. If you guys want more Elver videos, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and let's get straight into it. Okay, just spawned in. Got myself a baseball bat, let's go. Now we actually spawned next to where I wanted to spawn, which is Junction 67. Now there are some duos on the server and a couple of solos. Now the reason why I want to be at Junction 67 is because I want to build my base very close to here. It's the only mega zombie spawn. It is an entrance to dead zone. And if people are shooting here, I can easily hear them and I could just counter them when I'm chilling in my base. <sighs> That zombie just vanished underneath the ground. So I'm gonna loot here really quickly. Hopefully we'll get ourselves a gun. A Paug would be very epic. But we're gonna pick up everything. Because literally on Elver, anything is useful. Now obviously my main ideas of what I want to do is... Obviously build a big base. Raid some bases. I want to go to the dead zone. I don't think I'm gonna try to go to the save zone actually. Because going to the save zone is just for quests. And I don't really need to do quests. But those are currently my ideas. And obviously I want to dominate everybody. Oh... Pistols, we got two of them. Got myself a bunch of 40 round shots. Oh, got ourselves a puck as well. Now I'm gonna take the suppressor out of the pistol and put it on here. It's an infinite suppressor. Well, a mega zombie just spawned. I don't know if I have enough ammo, but I'll give it a try. Dude, I've already put like 80 shots into him. Oh my god, the zombie is OP. Dude, I put in three full magazines into his head. Well, I'm gonna go back really quickly before anybody goes there. Although my loot is still here, thankfully. Alright, and he's dead, finally. He was low. At least back. Okay, oh, mesh. Alright, that's not bad. We got at least back, we got ourselves a motor radio, a toss, and mesh. Now, mesh is very rare, and we actually really need it to go to the dead zone. Okay, so next, since I have ourselves some important loot, I guess I can start trying to build a base. Great, they're building a base, so I have to try to kill them before they manage to kill me again and take over the area, and I wouldn't be able to build a base there. Because once they have a base with beds in there, doesn't matter how many times I can kill them, they will always come back. Oh, a valentine. And the magazine, perfect. Alright, we're gonna go back, try to kill them. Oh. Alright, well, we got them, and I'm gonna destroy their bed. There we go. Damn, they are actually... Pretty looted. Night vision, blowtorch. These guys actually have some really important gear that I have. U phones. Okay, well, now I really need to build a base. I'm gonna take those logs actually. Base is pretty much done. I'm gonna return back to their base and get the remaining loot that I have left. Especially the high cal. We really need that. And I'm pretty sure I left a filter as well. And then as soon as I return as well, I will just make a lot of crates. Wait a sec, he's back. Grip filter. Yeah, I did leave a filter. Let's go back. Depot. So I've decided to change character. I don't really want to run, run around with that loot that I've had. I'm scared that they're going to try to raid me somehow. So I'm going to try to avoid that. Just got back from a quick Junction 67 run. Got myself a bunch of ammo, fully military clothed, military night vision, skill arc with a heavy barrel. Where's rebel shots going on here? I don't know what the hell is happening. But we really need that rebel. That's like the strongest sniper that there is on Elver. Oh, he's there. Damn, he seems geared as well. He has thick clothing. Oh, he's dead. I got him. It's the same guy that I was killing. How geared are these? Oh my god, he has a respirator! Full thick? Holy hell, rebel! Oh, he has a lot of green crystals as well. Gyroscopes, there are three gyroscopes. Look at this, these- oh, I'm gonna depot this. Okay, so I've made myself a bunch of wardrobes. I put the respirator on all of the good loot that I've got from that kill. That was insane. I can already go to the dead zone if I want, but first I need to get all of the key cards. I think that's going to be my next mission, to be honest. I just made myself one locker. Nicole also joined. She will be working on the base. This guy up there is dead. Seemed like he had good clothing as well. Alright, well, yep, the clothing. And the mega zombie is dead. Alright, well, air a parachute, not that bad. Nicole has already made the base from a 2x1 to a 3x3. Three three. I heard some shots over at Junction 67, so I'm gonna go give it a look. Alright, same guy as always. Okay, well, grenade, um, blowtorch, some clothes. Yo, I got a jackhammer. I completely forgot these even spawn in this map. All right, first key card down here. All right, looks like I found a base raid, full metal. It's not raided, so this is definitely gonna get raided later on. Back at base, got majority of all of the key cards and a bunch of metal, which I turned into cans. But now there's a lot of shooting happening over at Junction 67, so I'm gonna go over there. 
and he is dead. Rebel is so OP, man. I think it's one shot headshot even if they have a helmet. Alright, let's see what loot he had. A pog. Okay, four times scope. Some random junk. Okay, so for all that metal that I've got, I have made them back from cans to normal metal. And we're going to make this floor completely metal, which will be the loot room. Okay, lost key card right over here. Completely forgot about this one. Dead zone time. It's been a while. Hopefully, I still remember where the good rooms still are. So this is one of the rooms that I actually want to go to. Over here, we get a lot of ammo. And then here, if we break it, we can get any type of boxes. And a missile. Okay, so in here is all craftables. A lot of good stuff that we really need. Defibrillator, graphics card, military radio. Sometimes here as well, I'm pretty sure that gunpowder spawns. And in here we can get ourselves drills and all of that. Oh, drill right over there actually. Perfect. So I'm gonna try to get myself some of the purple crystals as well over here. So we can actually upgrade our base from metal to crystallized. So I'll try to get as much as possible from here. I am back from base. The main items that we've got is probably the drill, the 16 round magazines, all of those magenta crystals, a lot of 200 ammunition boxes and we got ourselves a bunch of important crafting stuff we got ourselves graphics card gyroscope those are very very useful especially when i need to make horde beacons and uh, if i ever want to go to the safe zone i can go whenever the hell i want because i still have another filter that we've got at the very beginning so we will do that definitely later okay so i've made a crystal wall which is like three times more health than a normal metal wall okay so it's been like half an hour since the last dead zone run i'm pretty sure that the loot might have respawned so i'm just gonna go back for another quick dead zone around this time i actually remember where i have to go Truly really be wasting time looking around like last time Okay, so this dead zone run was even better. We got ourselves another rebel, a Mosca, which is my favorite PvP gun. We got ourselves components, which is very, very, very important. Another drill, thick clothing, tons of medication, a fishing rod, MK2, tons of attachments, and circuit board. Wait, what? Wait, why is the mega underneath the ground? Uh, bruh, I was hoping for mash, what just happened? Okay, so I have just farmed a ton of metal, and over here, this is the third floor, I am just going to make it another loot room full metal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have successfully crafted a horde beacon. It's actually a challenging horde beacon. More zombies, only flankers, spitters, flamers, basically any zombie in unturned spawn. It's gonna be pretty hard. Now I'm gonna do it solo. Nicole is just going to be there, but she will be around the horde beacon, making sure that nobody will counter it because I will be shooting every single zombie and it might bring some unwanted people. Horde beacon is finished. Thought it would be harder. Okay, so nice load. We got ourselves 200 high cost shots, two gunpowder, heat wave box, thick clothing, drill, two bandiculators, most gun, circuit board. Not that bad, actually. Okay, so the circuit boards are mainly useful for metal safes like vault doors and vault hatches. So these are much bigger, they're much stronger. Okay, mega zombie spawned. Alright, and he is finally dead. Alright, well, this was pretty bad load. So I have crafted myself two plastic explosives and I'm going to go hit up that metal base that we saw very close to the gas station. Now, the problem on Elver is that you cannot actually make plates, but we're gonna try to raid from the roof, but instead we're gonna make like a one by one with a staircase. Hopefully the area is not claimed and then we'll just get go straight up on the roof. So basically we'll place this here and then we'll get ourselves four pillars. Then from here we'll make a staircase and then we'll jump on the roof. Now these explosives are much stronger than a normal C4 and unturned so one should potentially break off the base even though it's metal. Yeah, actually it broke that, which is important. I broke some lockers. There's some loot here. There's more lockers as well. Some good stuff here, okay. Alright, so I have one charge left. Okay, well I do have a bit of a plan. I can't go anywhere without dying if I blow this C4 up. And I don't really want to risk it. Just us have some logs and I'll make a, a triangular hole. And then I'll just make a ladder. Alright, we're really lucky that the area isn't claimed actually. And let's blow it up. Okay, broke the majority. Okay, golden pendiculator. That's really good. Another drill. Bunch of attachments, grenades, some ammo. Okay, so Nicole joined the server. She's gonna give me a rebel and some high kill. I'm gonna give her the stuff for her to depot. This way, like, I don't really have to run back to base, depot myself, get the rebel, and then run back. And now I'm just gonna use the rebel to destroy the remaining lockers. They should be pretty weak from the charge. Oh, broke. Okay, thick. Backpack. Alright, Mosca, some more thick clothing. There's full thick, actually, got full thick. There's vest, shirt, and, and pants. Alright, one dead. Alright, got both of them. Okay, I had a sauce. 
Alright, but living next to Junction 67 is very OP because as soon as you hear one bullet, I just run straight here. Got a ton of metal and now I'm going to make the third loot room at the very top, all lockers. This is just going to be full of lockers. A lot of shooting happening at Junction 67 once again, I'm gonna go and kill them. I think it's the same duo I've just killed. Alright, ow. Alright, is he pushing me? Well, that was stupid. Okay, some high kill. He only had a puck. A reflection and a tusk. I think they've killed a mega zombie, actually. Two grenades and a radio. Hello there. I don't really have anything good, I guess. I had a fully decked out pug. Oh, detonator. Look at all these attachments. Damn. Oh, nothing to... Chemical. I actually do need those. I right, got myself a ton of cans. Each of them is for scrap. Now I'm gonna make all of them into lockers. Well, there's actually a tank here. I can go back and try to get the steely from base really quickly. And we have got ourselves our second horde beacon. This time I'm gonna do it solo. Hopefully I don't get killed. The horde beacon is finished. Let's just get the loot and get the hell out of here. We got ourselves detonator, two heat waves, which is really good. Uh, 300 Haika shots, a rebel, a Mosca. One got out there and some circuit boards. Better than last horde beacon for sure since we got the heat wave. Just found an almighty locker here. Okay, well, sentry part and some grenades. We just found the base trade, full metal, 3x3 and a couple of floors. We do still have quite a ton of ammo, so we could try to hit this raid up really quickly. Okay, so we're gonna use these twig leathers. Now, the area is claimed, but these twig leathers, they don't care. If it is claimed, you could still build them wherever you want. We're gonna raid that wall over there in the middle, and hopefully that's where the load is. Oh, we broke it. Okay. Okay, so they basically did this like in Rust. In each window, there is a thick pine crate behind it. Okay, finally. Oh damn, this is bad. We're actually gonna use the tank. The tank shell should do a lot of damage. It should break at least half of the base. And if we find more gunpowder, we can actually make more tank shells. They're not that hard to make, to be honest. Here we go. Okay, well that didn't really do as much damage as I was hoping for. But we could see where the beds are. There's more crates there over there. Maybe I could like see through from the pillar. Let me try to get the twig leather. Okay, well, there's lockers there. I yeah, there's another locker there as well. Oh yeah, there we go. We can raid the pillars and check like this. Okay, well, there's a detonator in here. Oh, there's a Hellcat. Nothing really that good other than that, though. Alright, this one broke. A bunch of ammo. Oh, there's a dorm keys. Okay, chemical. Okay, so the pillar at the very top is broken as well. So maybe there's another pine crate up there. Yeah, there is. Oh my, okay. Another respirator, a tank shell. Bam, dude, we got it. We got another tank shell. Graphics card, gyroscopes. So next I'm just gonna use the tank shell. I'm just gonna blow it up, try to break as much pillars as possible, maybe walls. Alright, we did do quite a ton of more damage. We broke this one down here. Oh my god, the tank is going mad. Okay, I'm gonna depot everything that I've got really quickly. I'm just gonna place randomly every single item that I have got. Alright, so I actually had to shoot that one because the way it was placed, we couldn't see from the pillar. Uh, it wasn't really worth it though, by the looks of it. Another heat wave, actually, never mind. Gyroscopes. Oh my god, okay, three mesh. Oh my god, finally we found mesh. Mesh is the most important thing and it's probably the rarest thing as well. We need them to go to the dead zone. Now we finally got three. Okay guys, we're pretty much done from the raid. That was a pretty good base shade. We did get a lot of components, a lot of guns, a lot of thick clothing and some other, you know, important items. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I really hope that you did enjoy. If you guys want these kind of videos more in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!